Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker Envy tutorial, we're going to shine the spotlight on the Exile class. So this is a special request tutorial, the second part of a request from uh, Isai Gonzalez, and he says, you make really good tutorials, and, and can you by chance make a dark magic offensive class that mainly focuses its magic on powerful attacks? Kind of like a glass cannon type of character, it would also be cool if that class could inflict a poison state that gets worse every turn. So Isai... This is for you, bud. So we're in the arena here, and we're gonna fight um, a somewhat hard uh, creature, uh, the arena captain. Um, I've set our default levels to 60, just to show you like what you would be towards the end of the game, or like, around level 60, wherever that is in your game. Um, so the skill class is uh, the Exile. Or the the um, the the name of the class is the exile, but I've given him a skill class of fallen, uh, and he only appears to have three skills. However, it's deceiving because Blitz has many skills inside this one skill. And if you want to see how to make Blitz, I have a video on that. You can check that out later. So um, let's take a look at the first skill. This is a uh, called Razor Swipe. It takes MP. It hits all enemies with Dark Melee, uh, dark melee Cleave with a 50% chance of critical on hit. Uh, crit, uh, and the crit damage multiplier is 400 times, and the default is 300, so it does a little bit extra damage. Uh, keep in mind that this would be an AoE, so this would do damage to to uh, everybody. Of course, this creature can... Uh, it's a physical attack, so it can miss. We'll see it one more time. Saw a little damage there. Oh my gosh, I better get him alive. See, you can see how much damage he takes. He's a glass cannon. At level 60, he's only got 2,800 HP. Um, he does massive damage, but uh, he also dies really, really quickly. So this is his uh, single target skill, a twin physical attack that is a 50% chance of critical, and uh, the multiplier is also increased by 100%, or an additional 100%, as the default is. Uh... See, he didn't get a critical there, but uh, that was against the odds because uh, 50% chance and two strikes, you're probably going to get a critical. Now, I do have the damage core set to 10,000 cap, so yeah, so we got one critical in there. You saw he did 9,300 uh, damage. Wow, that's crazy. Um, so let's take a look at his some of his blitz skills. So you were asking about a poison effect. So if you use the commands D and G while you use the blitz, um, you in inflict uh, a venom state on all your targets. Uh, Blitz achieved Venom Blast. All enemies, all enemies are infected with Venom. And if you want to know more about the, what Venom does and how uh, it increases the damage when they take damage, you can watch my Stacking Poison video. Um, so let's see some more of the things that you can do with Blitz. So Blitz will give you uh, the ability to create multiple skills inside one skill. So this one, if you hold down Y-A-N-F-L when you use the Blitz, kind of hard to get, so I might fail it. But we got it. Blitz achieve mantra. All allies gain one additional swing and 10% extra experience. So it's adding a couple of states that will remove themselves at the end of battle. One of the states has no graphics, so it only appears as if they had one additional state. Um, let me get some healing up. <clears throat> Let's look at another one. Uh, if, uh, say, your MP is going down, he's not a healer, so this blitz isn't that strong. It's only going to recover a little bit of HP, a little bit of MP, a little bit of TP, but it is a little tiny bit of utility. Uh, probably better off using his turn to do damage, but it's just an uh, option to do extra things. Say you're, you're, you know, you'll need like 10 more MP to do a, a large spell on your other uh, members or something. So uh, let's see a couple more. Let's see, if I use... Uh, let's see, that was SE. We got Mantra. Uh, let's use, if I use the command MV when I use Blitz, then I get Aura Storm. And this is, it deals damage to all enemies based on um, a variable that levels up every time you use your skills. So right now, at level 60, and with the variables that I've set, he's doing 5,080 damage to all enemies. So that was enough to finish off that Arena Captain. Well done, you've slain the arena captain. Be, please be patient while I pray your next opponent. This is a, a like a ladder arena battle system that I'm coming up with. And, uh, and also, I also have other options in here. Like, let me show you uh, this one real quick. 
you can fight like uh, whatever monsters you want. I'm, I'm going to try to make a system that uh, is similar to the Colosseum in Final Fantasy VI where you have to bet an item and then depending on the item you bet that's the enemy you have to fight and you'll get an item if you win. But these were some weaker, lower level enemies. I just wanted to show you that uh, that skill is AoE and it can really wipe out a whole crowd. So that is the Exile um, class spotlight. I'm going to show you how to make this class. So you're going to make a new class. Call it whatever you like. Uh, in this case, I've called it the, the, the Exile. Uh, I've gone with a straight 20 uh, on all the experience curves because I want my characters, my players to level up fast and get a lot of skills really quickly. So I've awarded Blitz at level 1. Um, because most of their stats are um, based off of other variables that they won't be overpowered at the beginning because the variables will be set to zero. So they have to use their skills in order for the Blitz to do that much damage. So right off the bat, Blitz will only do, I think, about 10 damage to all enemies. So it's pretty weak at the beginning, but it multiplies as you level up your skills. So um, I've also gave a special flag to all of my... Uh, classes, preserve TP. I just like having that. I think it it's very annoying when you build up like 50 TP and then you, you beat the battle, you get into the battle five steps later and you have no TP again. It's really annoying. So as just a, a general thing, everybody starts with preserve TP. Uh, I've also uh, increased hit rate by 1% on, on most of my classes and critical hit rate by 1% on most of my classes. Now for the parameter curves. Um, rank E on the HP. Rank E on the MP. Rank A on the attack, rank D on the um, defense, rank B on magic attack, rank D on um, magic defense, rank B on agility, and rank B on luck. Those are the parameter curves that I've gone with, and I've awarded proliferate uh, at 15 and razor swipe at 25, but I'm probably going to switch these. Uh, I've actually just uh, put in Yanfly's skill learn core, so I'm going to actually change this around. I think I'm going to put uh, Proliferate at level 30 and Razor Stripes at level 20, and Blitz will still be level 1 for the Exile. Um, that's pretty much it. I'll show you the skills and how to make them. So Blitz, I have an entire video on Blitz, and it took 18 minutes to explain how Blitz works. So I'm not going to show you everything in Blitz, but I have a video. If you're interested on how to make this Blitz system, check it out. I'll put a, a note tag up here in the top right for you guys to click on. Um, but I'll show you the skills, and maybe we'll go over one of the, the battle uh, sequences, the action sequences. So for Razor Swipe, pretty simple. Give it a name, give it a graphic description. Let the player know that we're using criti uh, critical multipliers. Now, you will need a couple plugins. So the plugins you're going to need are the Yanfly, Yanfly Core Engine. You're going to need... Uh, the damage core and you're going to need the critical control that might also require the battle engine core I'm not sure about that but you might want to get it anyway because it makes the, the game a little bit better back to the skills um, I've gone with a custom skill type so you can go to types add a new skill type uh, sneak peek we're gonna make a mix skill um, for later on so I've gone with the fallen you can call it whatever you want <clears throat> um, let the player know that we're going to give it critical multipliers. So uh, the note tags you're going to be using are critical rate. Make sure you capitalize these. I think it matters. Uh, and then you're going to say 50%. Critical multiplier, 400%. Because by default, it's 300. So just by saying yes, it's automatically saying critical multiplier 300 down here, even though it doesn't say anything. Um, so even if this says no, if you put this in the note tag, it's going to turn it on yes. So uh, this is for the skill core system. You won't need that unless you're using it. Um, you won't need this note tag unless you're using the skill core, skill learning, uh, skill learning core. Um, success rate, I've gone with 100%, but it's a physical attack. I made a custom animation for it, so you can um, uh, decide what you want to do with that animation. Message up to you, the required weapon type is a scythe. So we've gone to types, we've created a new weapon type called the scythe, and let's look at those weapons. So for the scythes, they're really, really high attack, uh, attack damage. I'm thinking about making it so that they do defense minus five or something, just to, uh, I don't know, to, to compensate it for how strong uh, they're going to be. So we'll probably go defense minus ten. Not a giant debuff, but just a slight debuff, just so that uh, we show that we're sacrificing our defense for our offense. So we'll go with something like that. 
Um, new weapon type, put it in there, give it whatever animation you want. I didn't show you that animation, but it looks pretty cool. I'll probably go back in there at the end of the video. Um, so per, that's it for this one. Oh, the, the damage formula. Uh, the variable that I'm calling on is a dark uh, skill. You can ignore this variable and you can ignore this common event if you don't want to use them. If you do though, you might want to up the attack. So let's look at the rest of this damage uh, formula. So I'm using uh, the attack times three and the, ma uh, and the magic attack minus defense times two and uh, magic defense for uh, all enemies on this one with a 30 variance and of course you can critical and I'm giving it a dark element with HP damage. So if you were to get rid of these variables, it would change the skill dram dramatically. So you might want to up this attack to five and maybe multiply this by two or three, depending on your uh, preferences. I would probably multiply this by two uh, and this by five because it's uh, actually a melee cleave, but it still has dark magic involved. So that's what I would do if you get rid of the variables. Um, proliferate, this is going to be your uh, melee attack that uh, it's single target, but it repeats itself. So you're gonna have to use a, 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 a battle, an action sequence for this. So I'll go over the action sequence after we get to it. So we'll give it a name, description, let the player know we're multiplying the, the damage, the critical damage by four instead of three, and it, we're giving it a 50% chance to critical. Um, it means every other hit it's going to land a critical and do quadruple damage. Skill type, we're calling it in the Fallen, and, and these skills were actually requiring MP, because Blitz is going to be requ requiring the TP to use. So these are going to be a good amount of MP to use because you can't fail them, but when you use Blitz, you can get the, the input wrong and uh, waste your TP. So um, uh, this one is going to be scope of enemy, one enemy. Uh, you want these to be battle screen occasion only. Uh, give it a custom animation or whatever animation you like. This is also a physical attack and whatever message you, you uh, like. I forgot to go with required aside. We'll do that. HP damage, and we're going with a physical element on this one, just in case you encounter something that's got uh, dark resistance, you want to be able to have multiple types of damage. So this one's physical. Uh, I'm also using a variable and multiplying that by four. So if you decide to not use variables for in your damage formula, you want to multiply this number a lot. I would say time, attack times seven or attack times eight, something like that minus uh, the defense. Now, I'm not multiplying the defense by two because this is like a piercing also, so it's like half piercing. Uh, variance, I've gone with 30% variance on these skills just so the numbers can fluctuate pretty decently, uh, allowing critical, of course. Uh, putting crit uh, critical rate, 50%, critical multiplier, 400%. So I'm gonna go through this. This is for the skill learning core if you wanna put that. I've said to learn this at 50. <clears throat> if you want to add this battle animation, you can, if you don't want to use this uh, action sequence, then you want to go to repeat and set that to two. Otherwise, you're going to use this. So I'll go over this really quickly. Uh, you're going to bracket target action. Uh, you're going to go move user target, comma front base, comma 20 frames. You're going to jump the user uh, 200, uh, 200 pl uh, I think that's uh, pixels. And then you're going to uh, save for 20 frames. We're going to motion swing the user. Then we're going to perform the action. That's going to show the everything. Uh, action animation target and then we're going to wait for the animation to, so it doesn't just fly through it. Action effect target, that's going to issue the damage and then we're going to death break so that if they die halfway through we're not just uh, or if they counter attack and we die we don't keep attacking even though we're dead. Uh, we're going to move user to the target's back center for, uh, and that's going to take five frames. We're also going to wait for those five frames to go. We're going to face user face the user home so he turns around to attack. Then we're going to motion swing the user again uh, action animation, since we're swinging at the target, we're going to wait for animation for action effect again at the target, so that's going to issue the second set of damage, death break, in case we get countered attack. Uh, and then we're going to perform finish, that's going to bring us back into place and erase all the, all the information at the top. Action, common event, you don't need this unless you're calling on a common event here. Then we're going to close that whole thing off with closing target action, and that's going to do it. So if you're interested in learning about the Blitz, uh, check out my last video. I'll put a link in the, the cards up here. Thank you guys for watching. Continue to ask these questions in the comments. You inspire videos and you, you uh, help me learn how to do things as well. So remember to like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you want more content like this, you guys are awesome. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial.